I mean, she went through each of the cases themselves, and it was it was the same old story about her being intimidated, infatuated, hopelessly in love with Ian Brady, and would, would have done anything. I mean, I can understand that to some extent. I mean, if you look back over history, history is littered with examples of where females have done anything for their man. But there, surely there must, you know, you have, come, you have to draw a line. And while she may not have really understood what she did before she did it the first time, it's inconceivable that she didn't know the next time she went out in that car to lure a child that she didn't know exactly what was going to happen to that child. And in effect, she was the one that, I, that sought out the child. She was the one, not Brady, it was her that, that went out um, and identified which child she was going to lure back to that car. So in effect, she, for, for me, was the more evil of the two because had she not done that, um, then of course I don't, it's, it's, I don't think the horrors that we've all come to know as the Moore's murder may, may not have taken place. When you meet a female who's so out of touch with her kind of, her emotions as a, as, a, as a woman, that she does those kind of things, and not just once, but does it five times over a two, three year period, then I think that people are entitled to say, no, that she was evil. Mark Leach also inclines to the widely held view that she was never genuinely remorseful. She said that she was remorseful, but I saw no, no signs of that. I mean, there was, there was no tear in her eye, there was, you know, there was nothing. I mean, simply repeating by rote, yes, I'm sorry I did it, I shouldn't have done that. It, 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 it didn't break any ice with me, I have to say. And I've met people in prison who are genuinely remorseful for what they have done, genuinely, and I mean that, genuinely remorseful.